we all knew that we were on a mission. It was like there was no turning back. At the second meeting, we came up with the name Beige, and we liked the sound of it, a wise older person. Being gay is fine as long as you're young and healthy, but when you're old and alone, that would be a very dreary time. This was one of the negative stereotypes about homosexuality that was being used to stigmatize the community. Taking care of our elders is the natural way to build community. The gay scene in, in the 1970s and early 80s was youth-oriented, it was disco, drugs, and we had to break through all that. We decided that friendly visiting, shopping, information and referral, and increasing socialization would be our core services. The delight of serving our first clients was overwhelming. I mean, we were clapping and giggling and screaming when we finally were able to hook up a volunteer with a client. It wasn't until our first potluck social that we began to reach out in a way to have some social events, and it was a turning point for Sage. really is very much that of a kind of a grandfather watching the grandchildren grow and develop in unexpected and wondrous ways. There's a number of issues that are so significant uh, with regard to Social Security benefits that are now getting attention. And the leadership of SAGE on this has really been extraordinary, and I just am so very, very proud. I think we knew that SAGE was going to thrive, but we could never have imagined the multi-service agency it is today. With the programs all over the country, it's heartwarming to think about how many people have been helped by SAGE, and I'm so proud to be part of helping to create a gay community that includes its elders.